We're now familiar with the fact that the essential questions, the essential problems of philosophy can all be categorized into three buckets. Value, and the branches of philosophy dealing with questions in the area of value or ethics. Branch of that is political philosophy, aesthetics. Another area that questions of philosophy fall into generally reality, and the branch of philosophy of metaphysics deals with questions of reality, ontology, you know, there's the mind-body problem, problem of freedom and determinism. And then the third area that all of the questions of philosophy or the questions of philosophy can fall into is the area of knowledge, and the branch of philosophy that studies questions of knowledge is epistemology or the theory of knowledge, and we talked a little bit about the problem of knowledge and skepticism. Now, I mentioned that there's this other area in philosophy, namely logic. And logic deals with the evaluation, the assessment, the understanding of reasoning, argument, helps you determine. It's really the methodology that philosophy uses to solve the problems. And we also mentioned in passing that there are other areas in philosophy that span our three general areas. There are things like philosophy of religion, where they have questions in philosophy of religion. The questions fall into the area of value. Is the only way we can have objective value that God exists? Reality, is there this very special kind of being God? And knowledge, can we know that such a being exists? And we mentioned that there are other studies within philosophy, philosophy of science, philosophy of language, philosophy of mind, philosophy of math. But all of our studies in philosophy ultimately need logic to proceed. Logic is the methodology, and let's turn to that right now.